Hey Perula K, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my June Poundland haul. Oh my god, is it a good haul. I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. I feel like I got so many good bargains. I had the typical, oh I'm going to go in there for a few things I needed, like shower gel, stuff like that, toothpaste. And I ended up coming out with three bags full and loads of home stuff that I probably didn't need. But you know what it's like, I feel like you get sucked in when you go into Poundland. But honestly, I picked up so many goodies. By the way, I just want to show you my new watch really quickly because it just arrived. And I feel like I need to tell someone slash show someone because I'm so happy with it. Look at this. An Ellie Beaumont watch. Look at it. I decided to go for a gold one because I just feel like um, all my jewellery silver. It's so pretty. It came in this little box. Look. How pretty is that? So I've actually got a discount code. So in case you don't know, I put my disc any discount codes that I've got, I pop in the description box of all my videos. So I just thought I would share that one with you in case any of you are planning on treating yourself to a new watch. So, just going to get it up now. My discount code for that is LaurenF15 for 15% off. Now, I don't know how long it's valid for, but I just thought I'd show you. This isn't an ad, by the way, but I just really wanted to show you. Anyway, let's move swiftly on to the Poundland haul. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, I'm super impressed with. So, I just picked up this water jug. Now, I kid you not, I spent about eight pounds on one in Waitrose and they had it for a pound in Poundland. I literally couldn't get over it. So there's two reasons why I got this. When you're sat in the garden and you're having a barbecue or you're just like sitting in the garden when it's nice and sunny, I fill this up with water and then I put like lemon or watermelon or strawberries just to infuse the water just a little bit. And they just look really pretty. It just looks so much nicer than a standard jug of water and you can just keep pouring it away. I just love it. The other thing is when you go to bed at night time and you want to take a drink to bed with you, sometimes it's handy just to take this little jug of water to bed with you. To be honest, they look really nice on the bedside table as well. I probably sound, <laughs> I probably sound a little bit strange, but don't knock it until you've tried it. These with fruit in and water outside, perfect. But also on your bedside table, fill it up with some water before you go to bed. And you can just pour yourself some water and they're perfect for outside. Okay, so the next item, <laughs> Oh, there's me. I am so happy I got my hands on this. So I picked up this mirror. It was the last one left. It was five pounds. So obviously it was more than a pound, but for five pounds, I still think that's a really, really good price. It's just a white window design mirror. So I don't know what it is, but I just love mirrors. I feel like they obviously make any room look more spacious and bright and airy. And white is kind of like my go-to, as I'm sure you guys know. So this is going to be up in my home somewhere. I'm going to pop it up somewhere. But yeah, look out for that on my home account if you follow me on there. But for five pounds, I just couldn't resist and it was obviously popular because it was the last one okay if you have seen my amazon haul you will have seen that i am obsessed with these hoover storage bags so they're the bags that you um use your hoover to suck the air out of and they just shrink the clothes that are in there by a crazy amount they've got them in poundland now i don't know how good they're going to be because i'm not going to lie the amazon ones were a lot more expensive and were amazing so i'm looking forward to trying these i got these in the larger size which is 80 by 100 centimeters um, and there's a little nozzle on it and you literally just suck the air up with your hoover. They're called vacuum bags. So I just picked up one of those. I'm going to give it a go and see if it's as good as the Amazon ones. But yeah, I just thought you couldn't really go wrong for a pound. May as well try it. I also picked up some bits for the garden. So now that we're spending more time in the garden, I picked up this little tea light holder, which I just thought was a little bit different. So there's a little um, slot in the bottom where you can just pop your tea light holder in. And I just love the whole design. I'll bring it closer so you guys can see. So... I only picked up one of those, um, just because I want to try it and see if I like it or not. They had so many in there, so that was the first one. And then I also picked up this little tea light holder here, which I just thought was really pretty. So you're meant to get the citronella candles to put in there to avoid um, like the mosquitoes coming. So I also picked up some of those for a pound, and they just sit in the bottom there. You can definitely smell these, um, but they're, yeah, they're meant to keep the mozzies away, so fingers crossed they work. Um, I did only pick up one of these. I probably should have got two, because I feel like things always, like this always look better in pairs, but there we go. I think it's really pretty still, and a little bit different. Um, so I'll pop that outside. Then on the theme of the garden, I also picked up these cute little plastic cups. Now, you just cannot go wrong with like plastic wine glasses or if you want to use these for like sangria or something, you can. The cute little hula detail around the bottom, I feel like that's really cute for like a barbecue. But obviously you can take these off, so I mean, I do probably prefer them plain white, but I feel like this little hula floral detail at the bottom adds a bit more fun to it. So these ones were a pound each and I just picked up two. And then I also got the tumbler version as well, because I just feel like tumblers you can't go wrong with. And I just, I don't know, like, plastic cups are so easy to have in the garden. Um, I'll just bring them a little bit closer. Actually, my friend came around the other day at social distance, and she accidentally smashed one of my wine glasses, which is fine. I'm obviously not mad about it. But I feel like these are just such a better idea, especially outside. So, 
yeah, I picked up two of those ones. The next item was a little bit random. This is a microwave saucepan. So when you're cooking like baked beans or what else do you cook in the microwave? Anything really. I just feel like these are much handier and they don't have like, you won't have like tomatoes splatting around everywhere. So that was my theory behind that. When I'm cooking like beans or spaghetti or something, you can just pop it in there with the lid on. And it's also just like, <laughs> I just thought it was quite cute, but yeah, definitely a must have for the kitchen. Okay, so if you've seen my Bake With Me video, you will know that I didn't own a rolling pin, which caused me a little bit of trouble when I went to bake. So I picked up this rolling pin. Now it's not the most fancy rolling pin, but I just feel like it would get the job done. So yeah, just a plain little wooden one there. Okay. I absolutely love summer, but flies annoy me so much, especially when they come in my house. I'm literally like, trying to chase them around the house with my arms, like waving my arms around. So I picked up these fly swatches just so I can like swat them out the window basically so I can just shoo them out of my house out the door out the window um they're really <laughs> they're really thin so I hope that I can just go and it will like fly out the door these are a pack of two and different colors there if you live with someone like if you're in a couple or something you've got one each you can start playing games with them and trying to catch the flies but basically you've probably got more time on your hands but they are they're actually a genius idea that didn't sound too good. Um, I also picked up a uh, disposable barbecue. Again, I just feel they're so easy. No clearing up afterwards, obviously, apart from just like getting rid of it. But um, yeah, it's so, so easy and you can fit quite a lot on there. So I picked up that for a pound. I feel like I have to keep saying that now. Not everything is ob obviously a pound in Poundland, but actually, I think the rest of the stuff I've picked up is a pound apart from the next item. Okay, so my mum told me to get this. It's the Vanish Oxy Action Crisp crystal white fabric stain remover and whitener so I'm gonna try this out with all my like bedding because it's all white and any white clothes I've got just to keep them really really white and fresh so this one was three pounds and they also had a jar in there for five pounds but I didn't really want to go for the five pound one if I'm honest I just went for the three pound one while I try it I'm sure it's good anyway but yeah I feel like you still get quite a lot in there I then also have a little bit of a colour theme going on here. So I picked up some more Dettol anti-back wipes. I'm sure you guys are the same. We're all picking up quite a lot of them at the moment. These ones are pomegranate and lime splash scented. I think these were £2, but the pink drew me in. And the same with this one. This one I think was a pound, and it is the Fabulosa, or Fabulosa, I don't know how you say that. Watermelon disinfectant, so it cleans and shines and illuminates odours and kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Now, I've never actually tried this brand before. I know that it's quite popular. It does, oh wow, it does smell really, really nice and fresh. So yeah, I just wanted to get some more disinfectant. Again, I just feel like we kind of need them at the moment, really. I then also picked up my trusty Zoflora. So this one is Linen Fresh, one of my favorites. I mean, I say one of my favorites. I don't particularly have a key favorite for Zoflora, but the Linen one is definitely up there with one of my favorites because I just feel like it's a really fresh scent. Okay, here come the random buys. I've never seen such a big DVD selection as I saw in Poundland today. I just feel like there was unreal amounts, like way more than usual. So <laughs> I picked up this 10 minute solution belly, butt and thigh blaster workouts. Now it says that it's got one of those free, um, I can't think what they're called, but they call it a sculpting loop, but you know, the elastic um, workout band things. Now I don't know if there is one in there. If there is, I'm going to be very impressed because I've been trying to get one online for a while so for a pound I just thought I'll give it a go apparently the workouts are like 10 minutes each so you can do like one a day or if you want to do all of them you can not sure how good that is if you've tried it please let me know and then do any of you remember this film I picked up honey because <laughs> obviously I've got like Netflix and I don't really watch DVDs as such anymore but I saw this and I was like I absolutely love that film it probably is on Netflix I don't know but yeah I really really love that film I used to watch it loads when I was younger so that is my plan tonight with a chocolate bar watch honey um, I then also picked up some paper plates and cups. I probably should have got the same colour. I got silver plates and gold cups, but I couldn't decide, so I feel like I got one of each. Now, I just got these because, like I said, I am eating more in the garden now, and we are allowed to start socialising at a distance, obviously, um, with people, so I just feel like, um, with everything that's going on, it's kind of like an easy idea, and I thought they were quite pretty, but nonetheless, I would still buy these anyway if, if I knew this wasn't happening. And my nieces come round, I'll give them paper plates and cups, um, because sometimes I feel like the china's too heavy, and when they're, like, carrying it around, I'm like, don't worry, you can just have a paper plate, if you drop it, it's fine. I used to be obsessed with these at school, so these are the Mr. Freeze Jubbly, um, ice for leaves. I remember at school we used to pay 25p for these, and I'd get one most days. Now, strawberry used to be my favourite, but cola was up there and they only had cola in there so I just picked up those because it has been a little bit warmer recently so I just thought I've got something nice in the freezer to treat myself to. I then also picked up these Peppa Pig Choco Flakes. Now these aren't actually for me as I'm sure you probably are aware but they look really nice. Look how nice they look. 
Um, now I just got these for my niece when they're able to come and stay again because sometimes they're not always in Poundland and they're obsessed with Peppa Pig so both my nieces can make use of this. I mean I'm not going to lie I probably will be tempted to eat them and have to buy them a replacement box but I just thought I'd grab it while I could. Again another random item. Okay a little obsession with crisps at the moment. So these are the mini cheddars red Leicester flavour. Guys, I swear, they're so much nicer than the plain. And then I got these little crinkly, baked cheese and onion flavour. Again, I love these. Um, I don't know why I picked these up in Poundland, because I could have just bought these in the supermarket, but they were just staring at me, and I got tempted. Again, just kind of like a really random, boring item, but they're really, really good. So I got the brunch bars, one in the raisin um, kind, and one in the chocolate chip variety. I do prefer the raisin, but I thought I'd try the chocolate chip. Um, again, just easy to have in the cupboard, really, aren't they? And then last but not least, the HP barbecue sauce. It, this was in my last Poundland haul, and obviously it's all gone already. But honestly, it's so good. No matter what I'm making, I try it, and I'm just like, yeah. That was the last item that I'm going to share with you. And that is everything that I picked up in my Poundland haul. I feel like Poundland are just absolutely nailing it with the home stuff at the moment. And just in general, really. Like, I just... I feel so impressed with everything when I go in there so I really really hope you guys enjoyed if you did I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and and I hope to see you in my next video